Hey guys, this is Ron here. RA Quarter Horses 1. I spell R A Q T R Horses, H O R S E S 1, all one word. You can find my channel on YouTube. Go to their search engine, just type it in, it'll bring you right to my channel. I appreciate everybody that has watched my videos so far. Uh, it was my four videos of my life story, of my tragic life story that I wanted to share with everyone. Uh, I, thought, I thought I might have to add one more video just to kind of clear up a few little things that I had forgot and left out. Uh, but I didn't know that there was going to be a whole nother chapter of my tragic life videos, life story videos. Especially this quick after me making that one. I made those videos because I wanted to tell everybody how I felt and what I had been through. Uh, that's why I did it. No other real reason. I wasn't asking for sympathy from no one. I'll tell you one thing I was asking for was compassion. You understand, everybody that sees me and meets me and sees me. So just understanding, understand. They, when they see me, they understand what I've been through and maybe they understand or can accept my views and beliefs because of that. But that's not what I got. <clears throat> By no damn means is that what I got. Folks, I got a call. Well, let's see. Back up. It was, uh, put the videos up on Saturday, I think. Um, I was supposed to go back to work on Wednesday of that next week on Tuesday I get a call from my police chief hey Ron give me a call <clears throat> I'll try to give him a call I can't get a hold of him we kind of play phone tag so I've got to take my daughter stepdaughter to uh, her little job she's got and so while well, I'm in town I'm just gonna run by and see how and see if I can find the chief <clears throat> well He's not there, but we holler at him. Hey, just tell Ron, stay right there. I'll be there in a minute. So I just go to dispatch and shoot the crap, killing time. Uh, just waiting. The mayor comes in there, says, Ron, chief won't see you up here at, uh, he says his name, but it's the city attorney's office. I'm not going to mention any names. But <clears throat> they want to see me at the city attorney's office. It would be a little more personal and private than it would be right there. What the hell is going on now? I go up there, meet with police chief, city attorney, and the mayor. What now? What have I done? Because I've spoke my mind on YouTube, I'm sure this is why I'm here. <clears throat> and I can short version I guess it is. They'll sit me down, attorney on the end, seat by the attorneys, the mayor. I sit down by the mayor and then the chief decides he wants to sit on down here another chair or two down below me. <clears throat> you know, Guys are kind of personal, you know. They don't always want to be right next to somebody. You ever notice? You can, I've seen vi a documentary on this. Guys go to the bathroom, and there's a man at one urinal, and there's one here, and then there's another. They'll go on and skip a urinal because they want their little bit of privacy, you know. So I'm think I'm thinking that's all this is. Lo and behold, I don't think now that's what it was. Uh, they commenced to telling me that they've had people come, employees, 
have come to them, more than one, uh, concerned for my well-being and their well-being. They've looked at my videos and I've sat there and told them my tragic event that I went through and they think because of that that I'm mental. I may go postal. I'm a crazy man carrying a gun. Well, I think I'm probably as stable as I've been in years, but you know, they got to saying that uh, you're only crazy when you think you're not, you know. If you think you're crazy, you're really sane. I've heard that more than once. So, <clears throat> well, you know, anything's possible. But uh, they sit there. Oh, I'm telling you this because I'm thinking now after this is all over done with, the chief's probably sitting there because he's probably... I don't know this, but he's probably got a farm just in case I go postal on them and start shooting people because they know I carry. I don't know that. It's just, you know, anyway. There, the mayor and the chief, they're quiet. They let the uh, attorney do most of the talking. Uh, the chief kind of compassionately does try to explain some things, I think, to keep me from getting upset. But the attorney sits there and does most of the talking, talking about how he don't want to step on my First Amendment rights. But, you know, some of my videos I probably shouldn't have done. And in hindsight, uh, he may be correct, and I did take them down. Just, I think there was three of them, that, three or four of them that I took down. <clears throat> Because, well, they served their purpose, so it, they didn't have to stay up there anyway. But uh, if there was a possibility that I was doing something wrong, you know, I, with them, I definitely didn't want them up there. Well, it's my life story videos that cause all the disruption. Again, I've tell my story and I tragically go through I tell all my these events as I've went through tragically <clears throat> and guys y'all seen them y'all saw me sitting in my recliner in my own house now this is the most comfortable place I guess I could possibly be is in my own home sitting in my own recliner drinking a beer and I only had that was my first beer I'm pretty sure I think before it was over with I met and got up got the second one and I'm telling y'all my story folks when I'm telling this story in my mind I'm living it over again I'm going from each, I started at the beginning and I went all the way through it. And uh, if y'all watch me on that, if y'all, it's on them videos, I'm sitting there with my hands and my arms on the recliner uh, chair, the chair arms. And you watch my hands, I'm just digging, I'm clawing at, at, at this recliner as I'm talking. Folks, I'm hurting. I am suffering through this, telling y'all this. But I'm doing it because I want my story out there. And I want to do it for my own sake. My own self there. <clears throat> well, people think that when they see my videos, you know, I'm looking for understanding. And instead, people think I'm crazy. You know that attorney that did most of the talking? I'm She's a smart man. He obviously has been to law school and passed it or he wouldn't be an attorney now but every bit of that training that that man has been through I don't know for sure because I haven't been through any law school but I'm pretty damn sure they ain't one class he's been through that gave him a PhD that could tell him that somebody was mental this man had the gall not only to tell me that I needed to go have mental evaluation to make sure I'm not going to go postal, but he also had the gall to tell me that he hoped after my mental evaluation that I would continue seeing that psychiatrist. Because he thought I needed it, I reckon. Well, guys. <clears throat> I don't want to hurt nobody. I just want to make sure I'm here for my life. 
to look for my family. And I, but I don't want to hurt nobody. I don't want to harm anyone. So I don't want to take a chance that, you know, I'm going to do something wrong. And I want my job. I agree to uh, go see this psychiatrist. And uh, call them, make an appointment. Uh, they get me in, tell me to come on the next day, be prepared to wait. Because they're just going to have to work me in. But they gave me an appointment time for 3.30. I get there at 3 o'clock and I'm sitting here and I'm texting back and forth with my buddies a little bit. I'm nervous as hell. I've been nervous since this all came up, you know, since they've talked to me. And I'm, I'm scared for my job, you know? So, anyway, I end up having, I'm watching people go in and out mainly women, walking in and out of this office, you know, getting, having their appointment times, asking for that certain doctor. And I'm thinking, good God, I'm never going to get back there. You know, this is bad enough for that I'm having to go through this shit, but I'm having to sit here and wait. <clears throat> anyway, though, looking at the funny side of it or trying to, i uh, got a good friend of mine. He's a police officer, and we have a lot in common. We've had more than our share of crazy women in our life. And we actually tease each other about about that. Well, I'm sitting here in this doctor's office watching these women that obviously uh, are going to see a psychiatrist for some reason, you know? <laughs> in and out, most of them look like they're in a Xanax state of mind. And I text him, I say, hey dude, this would be a great place to pick up women. <laughs> He laughs. I mean, he, he says, I believe that's the best thing you've said all day. And, you know, that's what he texts me back. And I tell him, I thought that he'd appreciate that. Anyway, I even told that to the doctor and his nurse, and they rolled laughing. Uh, anyway, I get back there. I get called back finally. And uh, get to speak with the nurse first. She starts getting my personal information. Uh, one thing leads to another, and start telling her, you know, the questions that she asks kind of starts pointing towards the direction of why I'm there. And we start talking and I start explaining a few things, you know, I start explaining. She's not seen my videos. She don't know a thing about me. I start explaining my story. Same story I've done told all y'all. And uh, she's listening to me and we're talking and about that time, the doctor comes in, and we're in the middle of a conversation, and he just kind of says, go on, you know, the emotions don't keep on. So I just keep talking <clears throat> for a few minutes later, and uh, then uh, finally I get finished with what I'm saying, and he stops and uh, introduces himself as, doctor, as the doctor, and uh, we talk for a little bit, and... Uh, he tells me, I've seen some of your videos. <clears throat> okay, great. You know, actually, I want everybody to see them. And especially this doctor. So, uh, anyway, he starts asking me after a little bit of time of sitting there talking to me. He saw my videos. He sat there and watched me talk with this other lady and communicate. And uh, I've communicated with him. I've done things. And... He asked me, he says, well, why are you here, Ron? I said, because I made these videos and put them on YouTube. He said, wait a second. <clears throat> have you, uh, have you broke the law? You done something illegal? No, sir, not that I'm aware of. Have, have you been charged with doing something illegal, broke the law? No, sir, not that I, no, I haven't done anything like that. He says, have you gotten a fight at work? No, sir. Have you gotten an argument at work? Have you raised your voice or anything? No, sir, I haven't. He says, have you got mad or anything and yanked something off the wall? No, sir, I haven't done anything. He says, you mean you've just made videos and put them on YouTube? I said, yes, sir. He says, why are you here? <laughs> That's what I wanted to know, but, you know... Uh, that's what he asked me. Then why are you here? You haven't done anything.
to give anybody a reason to think there's something wrong with you except for make videos and put them on YouTube. And they're just telling you your life story, the truth, the story of your life, the tragic part. He says, your video, I'll say it, it'll make a great lifetime movie. He says, but, and it was, it was tragic. You have lived through some tragic things, but I see no reason that you're, you know, that it has disturbed you in a way that, you know, has made you mental. You seem like a perfectly normal person. You know, yeah, granted, you've been through some rough times, but lots of people go through rough times. Here's a man <clears throat> that does have a doctor's degree and does for a living work with mentally people, mental insane. And this man's telling me that he don't see a damn thing wrong with me. That I should that should be a concern. He does tell me he's got to come back and see me a second time to make sure I'm the same person today that you know then that I will be the next time. This is a man with a doctor's degree that's telling me that he don't see a thing wrong with me. Yet I've had an attorney without a doctor's degree tell me how mental I am and how I need to make sure I go see a psychiatrist and I need to keep seeing him. God, what my, how would that make you feel? I was, when I walked out of there, I was relieved. I was so relieved. And the longer I got, the longer I thought about it afterwards, the matter I got. Just because I have exercised my First and a Second Amendment rights as an American citizen, just because I have certain beliefs and certain political views, I have been and I, I have been harassed. I have been accused of possibly being mental. I have been told that I need to go see a psychiatrist. I've been told I need to continue seeing a psychiatrist by somebody that don't have a friggin' clue about psychiatry. I have been harassed. This is the way I feel. The more I think about it, the matter I get. Wait a minute. This doctor, he does ask me, he says, well, why are you here? And I said, well, I mean, why? Somebody complained about you? And I said, I was told that they have because they saw my videos and they think I'm mental. <clears throat> they think I'm gonna go post them. I am a crazy man who has my own political views and carries a gun. So that makes me crazy, right? No, it don't. But anyway, I have to explain to him that uh, we had a man that done something came to City Hall. Well, let me, I need to back up a second because I want everybody to understand this, not just the people who already know it. Hey, I'm going to take a break real quick. This is already lasting longer than I thought it was, but I'm the type of person that, hey, if I'm going to tell a story, I'm going to tell the whole story. That way, you know, you can get, a, you can make your own rational decision and not have anything left out. But, uh, <clears throat> let me just, uh, I'll come back in a few minutes and I'll tell you the story of what happened at the police department at City Hall. Uh, the reason that some people are paranoid that, you know, I carry a handgun. So anyway, I'll be right back. Thanks for watching.